What's up guys, welcome back to another Marvel Contest of Champions 4 star crystal opening. Uh, we have the arena results in and I'm going to claim these and this should give me just enough shards to open up 10 4 stars. So there we are, just barely enough. <clears throat> I was going to wait to open these. But I figured, eh, I'll just go ahead and open them now. I was going to wait till Thursday, but I changed my mind. Um, so, while these are spinning, let's talk about who I want, who I don't have as a four star that I want as far as mystics are concerned are Dormammu and Hood. And let's see, we got. Another Hawkeye. Um, I already have him awakened. That's okay. So let's see, Dormammu and Hood. And is there another Mystic? I mean, I don't have Scarlet Witch, but you know, I feel like I'm never gonna get her, so I'm not even gonna stop mentioning her. Um, those are the only two Mystics that I'm really looking for. And then I'm looking for. Let's see, what's her name, uh, Squinpool, and there was someone else. Oh, I finally awakened my, my crossbones. So that's pretty good. I don't have them as a uh, rank 5 anymore. I ranked them down uh, before the rank downs expired. And uh, Cable. Cable is the other person that I'm looking for that I don't have. So, looking at Cable, Gwenpool, Dormammu, and The Hood. And as far as who I have that I want to awaken, um, I'm looking for uh, Hyperion. If I don't get him, then I'll have to do the, the basic arena in a few days. Um, Alright, let's see who this is. Oh, Cyclops. I think he's like signature level 40 or 60. 60? No, 80. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm looking for Hyperion and Mordo as far as awakening. And I wouldn't mind awakening my Voodoo. I mean, I still have trouble fighting with him just because his dash back is so short. Kaban was supposed to fix it, and of course they didn't. So, I still have trouble using him. And there's an X23. I think this takes her to signature level 60. Am I right? Oh, 80. Man, I keep <laughs> off by 20 on the last two. Alright. Uh, so, this next one. Hmm. Yeah, those, so those are the main ones that I want to get. I really want that Hyperion because I just don't feel like going for uh, the basic. And then uh, Gwynpool, I won't really... <gasps> yes! Oh, man! Just talking about her. I was going to say, um, I won't have time to go for her in the first... Uh, when she's first comes out as a basic, so I'll have to go for her in, uh, in the second round uh, to awaken her. And she's a champ that is a lot better when awakened because her signature ability, the second part of it, uh, she reduces ability accuracy by, I want to say it's 2%. For each hit of your combo, so once you hit 50 hits, then she'll reduce them by 100%. I think this maxes out Winter Soldier. Alright, got one right. Oh, TV. Here, you want to spin one? Go right here. Here, you spin the rest. All right, I am back spinning. My s youngest son has joined me, so if you hear a little kid talking, that's him. 
Ah, uh, I forgot what I was saying before. And he just left. And we got Howard to duck. Oh man, he's already maxed out. I wish it would have went one more over to that uh, Mordo. That would have been nice. But yeah, Howard, I I got him when in one of the feature crystals and then I used uh, one of my awakening gems to awaken them and then I just dumped a whole bunch of signature stones on them. Let's see what we got here. Oh yes! Oh man, they got Dormammu. Oh, I wish I had the, uh, the, the catalyst to take him to rank 5. Oh man, I could take him to rank 4 though. I'm definitely going to take him to rank four. Ah, uh, so f this this is a great crystal open, a great crystal open. Man, I got two champs that I want to take to rank five. I can take. I have the the class catalyst to take Gwenpool to rank five. Storm, I, she's already maxed out, so that's another max signature stone. Well, yes, I I'm one just over one uh, class catalyst short of taking Dormammu to rank 5 so I guess what I'll do is maybe take Gwimpole to rank 5 and then hope for the best when I open up my my uh, Alliance quest crystals alright so this last Last crystal, let's see what we're going to get. It's Nightcrawler. Okay, that helps my defense out, I guess, a little bit. He's, what is this, 59? Yep, signature level 59, so... I guess that gives him a little bit more attack. But, oh man, I am just, I'm really happy about that Gwenpool and that Dormammu. Let's see here, look at that. These other two, you know, or I mean, the rest of these, you know, it's it's whatever. I I am happy about awakening that that crossbones though. So we got Dormammu here and he is unawakened. I may use one of the awakening gems to awaken him I, th I have four generic so I'll just wait until I get to I get enough catalyst to take him to rank five and then if I don't pull him again before then then I'll go ahead and awaken him and of course he's gonna go into Alliance War defense and Gwenpool. Hmm. I mean, I'm not sure where I'm going to use her. Uh, she's definitely going to be one of my main questing people you know, for doing the, um, the 5.2, Act 5.2, and for doing the event quests monthly. Uh, sh she'll definitely be in there. But as far as Alliance War, I don't think I'll be putting her in for offense because I'm waiting on another champ. I'm, I'm waiting for Iceman. When I get Iceman, then he'll go to, to rank 5 and he'll go on my, my offense. But she is going to be a lot of fun to use. So that's going to end it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and as always, thanks for watching.